Our Hanging With segment today is with former HWA Cruiserweight champion Matt Stryker. Uh, Matt is from the Melford uh, subdivision of uh, the, the greater Cincinnati area. He came to us at HWA a little over three and a half years ago. And, of course, when you showed up, Matt, you told me you are a former police officer. You had, uh, one of your hobbies was bungee jumping. You raced motorcycles, uh, even skydiving. So you were trying a lot of high-risk things and, I guess, apparently thought professional wrestling was the next uh, alternative. Yeah, these were all ways of expressing myself. And when I came in and sat down and talked with you, you told me that this business was all about expressing yourself and, you know, just the different magnitudes of doing that. And I thought this would be a perfect fit for me. And so three and a half years later, you, you've come a long way. You've had some dark matches uh, in WWF. Uh, you've held the HWA Cruiserweight title on three different occasions, I believe. And uh, so, obviously, uh, the next big step for you is trying to acquire a WWF developmental contract. Oh, yeah, that's my goal. That was my goal the first day I came to see you. Um, now it just seems like it's, it's closer than ever to something like that happening. Uh, to be able to sit home and just think about wrestling, eating and working out would be great. Uh, tell me, you know, uh, something we don't talk about in this segment a lot is uh, three and a half years ago, if you were going to a big wrestling show, you were buying a ticket. And in the last year, year and a half, you've had an opportunity to wrestle against guys, be in the ring and work against guys who you used to buy tickets to see. Uh, how was the transition? How did you feel with that? I remember the first time that I did that, last day, I was scared out of my mind. Um, I, can, I can remember sitting there, seeing my opponent walk up, and just being just jittery as, all, as, as, as could be. I was scared out of my mind, and now I'm a little more comfortable with it. Um, but it's still, it's, it's a huge thrill just to get in the ring with any of those guys. Of course, now, uh, with the uh, WCW involvement uh, in HWA, uh, with the uh, HWA being a WWF developmental territory, you're having an opportunity to wrestle on a regular basis against uh, many of the talents that were, you know, have been stars in WCW and WWF. Do you feel that this has been a, a very good learning experience for you? This has been the best learning experience I've had yet. Uh, to be able to hone my skills against guys who are have been there and who are ten times better than I am and you know or where I want to be at now um, it's just that's a great thrill one of the things I told Matt when he first started training at our place was to stop the bungee jumping to stop the motorcycle racing to stop the, the skydiving because he's gonna end up killing himself before he ever got a chance to be a professional wrestling so basically I took away a lot of your excitement in your life uh, what are you doing for hobbies these days Believe it or not, I sit home a lot with my family, um, and I'm actually kind of glad that you talked me out of doing a lot of those things. Um, the farthest I go now is maybe playing a recreational game of softball, but I don't get injured anymore, and that's the great thing, and I can focus all my energy and all my drive on wrestling. Uh, compare, uh, parallel, being a police officer, being a professional wrestler, uh, obviously it's a, obviously more dangerous in many ways, but it's also something that, that takes a lot of thinking on your feet, a lot of thinking on the move. Yeah, you're right. Um, I mean, if something something goes wrong, you've got to be able to react, you know, just like that. And it's the same in the wrestling ring. You've got to be able to react at a, at a moment's notice. You know. If... One uh, one final thing, of course, with this the, the big invasion, WCW uh, coming into the HWA and the WWF developmental wrestlers. Uh, Jamie Noble's taking that cruiserweight title, and I know uh, the big thing for you is to get it back. How do you feel about that? Well, that's when I get my opportunity to get it back. You're going to see that belt go back around my waist. And it doesn't matter if Jamie puts Elix Skipper in front of me to try to break my knee or Jamie Noble in front of me to try to break my arm or Lash Lure to try to take some ribs out. It doesn't matter. You can break every bone in my body, but you're not going to break my spirit. I will get my belt back. And there you have it. That's our Hanging With segment with Matt Stryker for today.